We're beginning to see some bluer skies overhead, but that doesn't mean rain is over quite yet. I'm UF forecaster Anthony Bordenauer. We saw some passing showers just this morning, but I'm expecting more rounds of rain this evening and into tomorrow. But before we get into future track, take a look at some of these uh, views that we saw earlier on campus. Pretty nice picture esque view. Let's time out some of those showers for you. So notice we could see some drizzles by Gainesville uh, east of the I-75 corridor. It's probably not going to see much activity for the rest of the day. But notice, lining the I-95 corridor around 9 to 10 p.m., smoky, heavily thunderstorms will be popping up because we'll be seeing the easterly breeze coming on from the Atlantic and the westerly wind coming in from Claudette. Uh, the tropical storm Claudette that will produce some frequent lightning downpours past the 10 p.m. hour. And then notice of spattering activity for the morning hours tomorrow. We'll start off in the mid 70s. You heard that right. Only the mid 70s around 74 in Gainesville, 74 in Ocala. As you step out the door, you're going to feel that wave of humidity hit your face and it's probably not going to be that pleasant. I want to wish everybody a happy Father's Day. Uh, let's hop into future track. Let me help you time out your plan. So again, that early chance uh, at around 6 a.m. at sunrise, then moderate rain around 10 a.m. Churchgoers, you may want to bring in an umbrella. It is cliche, but it is kind of true. You still want to, may want to bring an umbrella. Widespread showers for the lunchtime hour. Then notice what happens around 1 to 2 p.m. Activity begins to quiet down. So I think the best chance will be if you have afternoon, like around lunchtime plans, to shift them three, four hours later because it will shape up to be a fairly nice night as that low pressure system uh, moves off into the Atlantic. So to recap, Father's Day around 11 a.m. is when the most widespread activity will happen. Storms quieting down around 2 p.m. A high around only around 86. That's because of the rain. And then 5 p.m. Passing showers are still going to be possible, but I think it's a safe bet that most of the activity will be gone. But obviously, if you have any fields or anything like that, they will be soaked because all the rain that we received earlier in the day. And just a little bit of a preview for your work week. Rain chances do stick around. Deep tropical moisture moves ahead by Tuesday. Rain chances continue for the rest of your work week.